What is up guys? Blue Sun JRPGs here. Back with another video. This time going over my top 5 RPG consoles of all time. It's my personal list, so don't flame me in the comments if you don't see your favorite console up here. Um, keep in mind that I am a little bit younger, so I didn't go all the way back uh, to the beginning of the console generations. So maybe that does skew me a little bit. Um, I try to stick to the exclusive games, but there are some multiplats here as well. But the first console up is going to be the original Xbox. I think this is going to surprise a lot of people as one of the greatest RPG consoles of all time. Um, but it absolutely was an amazing console. And it has, in my opinion, what is considered to be, well, in my opinion, I guess, is the greatest RPG of all time. And that is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, what an amazing game this was, guys. This was the only game I've ever played that I could actually play as the dark side. And I think that goes into the storytelling, how well they designed the characters, and how well they designed the story in general. Um, second game I want to talk about is Fable of the Lost Chapters. What an amazing game, guys. I had never played a game like this in my life. Um, I think I was about 10, 12 years old when the game came out, and it absolutely blew me away. I had Halo, I had um, all the top games for the system, but this game was something different for me. It just stood out so much, and I had an absolute blast playing this game. And then, of course, there is Elder Scrolls, uh, the Elder Scrolls Morrowind. This game was unlike anything we had ever seen on consoles before. It truly was an amazing game. Never before had a console tried something so daring and so expansive. And it definitely deserves a lot of props for that. Uh, aside from that, there are some other games as well, too, that aren't, that aren't quite as good. You have, like, Baldur's Gate. Um, a lot of the uh, Marvel games are awesome on the system. Um, but so many great RPGs. Um, the PlayStation 3, though. What a system this was, guys. There are so many great RPGs that came up for this, and a bunch of remakes from the PlayStation 2. Um, but I want to start this talking about Valkyria Chronicles. Um, Valkyria Chronicles was an amazing, amazing game, and it's still a series I'm very fond of today. And then you go to games like Disgaea. Disgaea was amazing. Um, games like Folklore, even. Um, the Kingdom Hearts remakes. The Neptunia series. There are just so many good series on this. The one thing I will say about this console that could have put it over the top for me was had they come out with Persona 5 on this console rather than uh, rather than PlayStation 4. I guess technically they did come out with Persona 5 on this console, uh, but at this point, but at that point, I think a lot of people had already moved on, so I don't really count that. I didn't play it on that. And you know, even Final Fantasy 13. A lot of people hate Final Fantasy 13, but I don't think it was that bad. It's actually one of my one of my preferred. Um, Final Fantasy games. And then, moving on, I mean, even games like the Tales of Zillia 1, Tales of Zillia 2, and then uh, Tales of uh, Symphonia Chronicles, those are awesome games too. There are just so many RPGs. I'm not sure any console has a wider variety of RPGs than the PlayStation 3. What a great console it was. My third best RPG console of all time is the Xbox 360. I'm guessing this is pretty surprising to most people, um, but it shouldn't be. The Mass Effect, you guys know, is one of my favorite, favorite series. Um, especially the first game. What an amazing game this was, guys. I had never played a game like this before in my life. You know, it really took gaming for me as something that I enjoyed to an extreme passion. After playing this game, I was really obsessed with video games. This game is probably one of the most important games of my life. And then moving on, games like the Mass Effect 2 were good. And then Mass Effect 3, I was disappointed by the ending. Um, but still good games. And then you go to the other series, like Fallout New Vegas. Um, and then you have like uh, Fallout, Fallout 3. Amazing games as well. And even though Fallout 4 came out, I don't think Fallout 4 lived up to these games. And then you have other games even. Um, games like Lost Odyssey, Blue Dragon. And then you have Tales of Vesperia. Tales of Vesperia is as arguably as good as any Tales game there's ever been. I'll say that right now. I'm not the biggest Tales fan, so maybe somebody out there who knows a little bit more about the series will will um, come at me and say something different, but I think that was a great game. And you know, I think this console in, it overall has a bunch of great RPGs. Sure, it lacks a little bit on the JRPG side, but as far as RPGs in general, the game was top notch. And then my second favorite console of all time as far as RPGs go has got to be the PlayStation 4. Now this may be a little controversial to some of you guys, seeing as it is a relatively new console and they're still coming out with a lot more games. Um, but I think again, it's a pretty obvious choice. When you look at games like Persona 5, which in my opinion is the greatest JRPG of all time, um, games like Nier Automata, um, Final Fantasy 15, 
a lot of people hate Final Fantasy 15, but I'm a fan of it. Um, Odin Sphere, uh, Knights of Azure, uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, so many unbelievable games for this, guys. And they keep making more. Um, when it's all said and done, this may be, in my opinion, the greatest RPG console of all time. It's been such an amazing, an amazing treat to play this console. And I talk about this a lot, but Xbox Xbox One has really dropped the ball on this. I am an Xbox guy, but the PlayStation has absolutely dominated the competition. Um, the one thing I would say is I haven't really played any Western RPGs in this console yet. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's a lack of actual games out there, or just maybe my maybe my changes, maybe my um, maybe what I want in games has changed. But for me, that's been about the only downside. As far as tactical RPGs, you can you can definitely find that here as well too. Um, Deskaya 5 is an awesome game. Um, another Valkyria Chronicles game is coming out. So much variety, so many great games. I think everyone who loves RPGs loves this console. And then the greatest RPG console of all time is the PlayStation 1. Yep, the PlayStation 1. What an amazing console, guys. Um, some of my favorite games of all time, whether it be Lunar of the Silver Star Story Complete, which I'm showing in this video here. Uh, that truly was an amazing game. In my opinion, that still has the greatest, if not if not second greatest now to, I guess, um, I guess to uh, Persona 5, but one of the greatest for sure um, turn-based combats there ever was. Uh, it was so such an amazing combat system. It really made the battles enjoyable and definitely something that you actually had a plan for, which is something that a lot of RPGs struggle with. Um, aside from that though, I mean you have games like Chrono Cross, which some people prefer Chrono Trigger, but for me Chrono Cross is still an unbelievable, unbelievable um, game. Um, games like Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 6, uh, Final Fantasy 9, I mean you can go on and on about the great Final Fantasy games on the system. Final Fantasy Tactics even. Um, other games, oh, uh, Battle Ogre, um, Tales. I'm out of Blake right now, but so many great games. Vanguard Bandits, um, Rhapsody Musical Adventure. Just I, this game, its system is unbelievable, and that kind of leads me to some of the consoles I didn't choose, um, which was the SNES. SNES was the choice for a lot of people, I'm sure. But for me, you know, I was born in '92. I didn't really play the SNES growing up, so for me, that didn't make the list. And the the games are too pricey. Let's let's say it. They're too pricey to go back and pick up, unfortunately. So I can't play that console. And then PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 could have easily been up here as well, um, but I feel like it got a lot of the things that PlayStation 2 had on the PlayStation 3, which is why I chose to leave it off. But massive thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Blue Suns JRPGs.